I think that anytime you're bringing a state agency into someone's life, even if it's a protective agency with good intentions, uh, there's that, there's the loss of autonomy and um, the risk of things sort of spiraling out of control for the victim. So even though there's good protective intent, if uh, law enforcement gets involved, for example, um, which could happen with a report to Adult Protective Services, uh, then the criminal justice system is involved. And now the potential perpetrator of abuse could be wrapped up in the criminal justice system, which is not something that the, that the client ever wanted to see happen. Um, but that's now completely beyond their control. It may be determined that they'd be better off living in uh, some kind of supervised living situation, so assisted living or a nursing home. And while that may be medically a good choice for that particular client, it may not be what the client would choose for themselves, and so they lose access to their home, to everything that's familiar. So it's just, it, again, it's the loss of choice and autonomy that occurs when, um, when the state agency comes in and starts making decisions. There are definitely unintended consequences to mandatory reporting. I think the instinct of mandatory reporting is we want to, as a society, say violence is unacceptable and we want people to be safe. Uh, and those who are not able to seek help on their own should get help even without asking for it. Uh, the issue with a lot of the adult-related mandatory reporting is um, that it's written broadly. If you say every adult 60 or older, uh, or um, in some states it'll uh, talk about every adult with a disability, then you have lots of adults who are able to seek help, who um, for whatever reason may be not choosing to seek help from the criminal justice system or seeking help from government authorities. And um, when they seek help from an advocate, a mandatory reporting requirement could cause them to walk away or to not seek help or not give you certain pieces of information um, because they're fearful that they'll lose control over their information. So the consequence could be, ironically, that mandatory reporting could cause no one to know about what's going on, not even the confidential professionals who are set up and ready and willing to help.